<laughs> okay, I hit play. According to... Watch the stream! Okay, are y'all ready for this? What <laughs> your video quality? I sent it in the Discord chat. Okay. According to all laws of... All known laws of aviation, there should be... Hold on, I gotta magnify this, dude. This is tiny. According to all law, all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its little fat body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyways, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Kind of racist if there's no white. Oh, yellow, black, and yellow. Let's shake it up a bit. Berry, breakfast is ready. Oomin. Oomin. Hang on a second. Hello? Berry? Adam? Oh, and can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's to graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect record report card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. I got limped on my... Uh, you got limped on my fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row one... 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel a little special day graduation? Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did it. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah, you going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a, t a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Graduate, welcome New Hive Oidi, graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honix Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your head and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Hunnix, a division of Hunnesco and part of the Hunnixagon group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey bring honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected sentence adjusted and bubble contoured into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey that girl was hot she's my cousin she is yes we're all cousins <laughs> right you're right at hunnix we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee extinction e existence these bees are stress testing a new helmet today a new helmet technology what do you think he makes not enough here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does it do? Ratches a little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Oh, I'm so confused. Our O is just replaced with H. What? Owen, anyone work on the Krellman? Of course, most bees are small ones. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in that job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll know, so you'll just work us to death? 
Well, sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have one... Now we only have one... Now we only have to make one decision in life. But, Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees, the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow, I've never seen them this close. They, they know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who's know, who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred. To, you have to be bred for that, right? Well, okay. There's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. <coughs> Look at these two couple of high fairies. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat, and with the other he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities? I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us. Maybe, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am, maybe you're not. We're going at 0900 hours at Jaygate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Honex. Dad, you surprised me. Have you decided what you're interested in? Oh well, yeah, there's a lot of choices, but you only got one. Do you ever get bored of doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and, see, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more you think about it, maybe the honey field isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey, our son, the stir. You're going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. I'll pierce the th my thorax, shave my antennae, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everyone dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the job, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stump bee, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Vincent, are you still here? Okay, they'll probably come back in a little bit. Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Croman? Sure, you're on. So, I'm sorry. The Croman's just closed out. Wax monkey's always open. The Croman op opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See, he's dead. Another one dead. Deady, deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up, dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is hard. This is so hard. Heating, cooling, stump bee pour, stir, humming, inspector number seven, link coordinator, stripe supervisor, mite wrangler, Barry. What should I, what do you think I should do? Barry, Barry. All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out. Out where? Out there. Oh no. I have to before I work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? 
another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their rosy today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold on, slide stack restricted. It's okay, Lou, we're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, just initial that. Thank you, okay. You got a rain advisory today, and as you know, bees cannot fly in the rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And just a, and a reminder for you rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow, hello? You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wings check, antenna check, nectar pack check, wings check, stinger check, scared, of my, scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box kite, wow, flowers. This is blue leader, we have roses visual. Bring it on, bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees, Roger, bring it around. Stand, stand to the side, kid. We've got, it's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollen, pollination up close? No, sir. I picked up some pollen here. Sprinkle it over there. Maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. Uh oh. See. What do you think that is? Maybe a fifth through? And I'm 12 minutes in. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I don't get why so many of the O's are replaced with, or so many of the C's are replaced with O's. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't, don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, we're putting weird flower in front of those on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know. I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. Oh, sweet lord of blue. Please, candy brain, get off the problem. Guy, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna go, gonna go. Almost little boy. You are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I don't. I think he knows. What is this? Match point. When you start picking up honey, be careful you're about to eat it. Yeah, so close. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. Who's back here? He's gonna sting me, dump me move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze, he blinked. Spam, granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension is lovely. The terror is unbelievable. I gotta get home. I can't fly in the rain, can't fly in the rain, can't fly in the rain. Mayday, mayday, be going down.
Yeah, I, I think it was a little bit of both. No, recording's still going. Why is my face cam so... Oh, that's... Okay, I gotta find where I was. See it fold out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. This fakes. This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top 10 favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? No. I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I was the job interview, I was flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's the way out. I remember the sun having a big 7-5 on it. It was mapping it to global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. Please stand back. Those winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. Here you go, little guy. I'm not scared, Pen. It's an allergic thing. Put him on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right, bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure can, you know, whenever. You could put... You could put carob chips on there. Bye. Wish me less calories. I, bye, I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. No. What would I say? I could really get in trouble or kick you off. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no, do it, can't. How should I start? You like jazz? You know, that's good. Here she comes, sp speaking for Hi. I'm sorry, you're talking. Yes, I know, you're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay, it's fine. I know I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. I'm not sure this is... I'm not sure that this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise for me. I am your lady. I am. And I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were trying to kill me. If it wasn't for you, I just had to thank you. <coughs> That's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah. I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just wanted to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait. How do you want to do that? I like the talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey. You pick up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we had to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? What? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. This is coffee. I need ten bucks. That'd be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. You want some rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tires in the cab as they're flying up to Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into a church. The wedding is on. And he says, watermelon. I thought you said Guatemala. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? It's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. What are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hot, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. Me too? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. My new queen just, just elected 
if that same pin came to my hand and went into the book, there's my hand right there, you see it? You know, you see it better. Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm right off of the turtle pond. You know what, I know that area, I lost a toe ring once there. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. Are you alright now? Well, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just having two cups of coffee. This has been a great lunch with coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. And you? Can I take this piece with me? Sure, have a come. Thanks, yeah. Alright. Well then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again. Hope before. Well, that, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This could get, this can't possibly work. We all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave. Well, the shoot sounded amazing. It was amazing. It's the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you're with humans. Giant scary humans? What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk to me. See, they eat the giant things. They drive crazy. Do we try and kill you? I want to be some of them. Some of them you don't. How do you get back? Poodle. You did it. I'm glad you saw whatever you wanted to see. You have your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, well, I met someone. You did? Was she beish? A wasp? My parents will kill you. No, 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 no. I'm not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hardest thing. <coughs> Wait, legs and all. I, I can't get by that face. Who is she? She's human. No, no, that's p -law. You wouldn't break p -law. My name's Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh no, you're just making me a florist. We're not dating. Fine, I'll take the hard attack on the humans. I attack our homes with eight washers, with power washers and M80s. What a stick of dynamite. She saved my life. She understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What is that? It's called a crumb. It's so sting and stripey. That's not all what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. Do you know what Cinnabon is? No. It's bread and, it, and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up, sit down, really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You asked for thinking be my friend. Thinking be. 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 There he is he, in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking, B, how much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You put on the beat. I'm gonna kill you, Dick, though, honey. Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Mine? Are you talking to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything all set? Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be long. Watch this. Vanessa, you're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. I don't... Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I was not listening to this. Sorry, I, I go. Or are you yelling at me and your friend? I go. Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I hope she's beish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. They're to be in the pyramid of roses. That's every flower, florist dream. Up on a float surrounded by flowers, crowds tearing. A tournament, two roses competing in athletic events. No, all right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Oh, I see, I see. All right, your turn. Tivo, why can't you just freeze live TV? You just freeze live TV, that's insane. You don't have that? You have hypo. It's a disease, a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees. You always want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting, it's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper very carefully. Kick a wall, take a walk, right knee, you let her and throw it out. What's the feeling of like any emotion? Anger, jealousy, lust? Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What's wrong with you? It's a bug. You're not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What's that? A pick and saves? Circular? Yeah, well, it's better than no. It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. We've got that down to a science. I lost a cousin, I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. <laughs> I'll bet. What was in, what in the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Good. I, Q. 
cute bee golden blossom radio out of a private selection is that an actor i've never heard of him why is this here for people we eat it we don't have enough food you don't have enough food of your own well yes how do you get it please make it i know i know who makes it and it's hard to make cheating cooling stirring and eat the whole crumbling thing it's organic it's organic it's just honey berry just what Please don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. That you've taken our homes, schools, and hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all this. Hey, Hector, are you almost done? Almost is he here. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this loose honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where's, where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want is to do. Well, the last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's out of now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong, and crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch to my iguana, Ignacio. Where's this honey coming from? Tell me. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What a horrible thing has happened here. These faces. They never know what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe out anything that moves. Are you headed to honey farms? I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. You lose your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. Alright. Uh oh. What is this? Oh no. A viper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on, it's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. You don't kill, you don't kill no more bugs. But don't kill no, but don't kill no more bugs. B, moose blood guy. You hear something like what? Tiny, like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars, as far as the eye could see. Wow, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that's honey ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you got in trouble? A mos you mosquito in trouble? No one likes us. They just smack. See, mosquito smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls. Try to trade up. Get with the moth. Dragonfly. Mosquito girls. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Mooseblood's about to leave the building. So I'm gonna be. Hey guys, Mooseblood. I thought I'd catch up, yo. I knew I'd catch up, yo. Catch. Y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? Let me throw it in the jet. We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? Uh, it's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Check out our new, the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one we want. The Thomas 3000. Smoker, 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple of breaths out of this, knock some right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, we make the money? Oh my, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? That's a man in women's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Gee, honey, our honeys were being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. What do you think? That's about halfway? I'm about 30 minutes in. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do bees look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. Bees are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? I've been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend, and they make out. They make out. Barry, you do not. You wish you could. Who shot are you on the bees? I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy bugs kept me up all night. Barry, 
this is what you want to do with your life. I want to do, I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so early, but your hands were still starting. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it on in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can a bee do? What can one bee do? You sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye, that would hurt. No, up the nose, that's a killer. Any place, stings don't matter. There's one place where it matters. Hive at five. Hives only full. Hives only full hour action resource. No more bee beards with a bar bumble at the desk can't hurt. A brother with a storm stinger. Sports with Buzz Larry and Janet Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble and I'm Janet Chung. I'm a Tri County BD Barry Benson. I intend to sue the human race for stealing our money. Packaging it and profiting it from it illegally. Tomorrow night, I'll be King Larry and be Larry King. I lost three former queens here in the studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from a hive, I can't do this? Bees have never been a cha afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus? B. Gandhi? B. Jesus? Where I'm from, we'd never sue humans. We were thinking of st of stickball or candy stores. Emily, the bee community, the bee community is supporting you in this case. Which will be the trial of which will be the trial of the bee century. You know that they have a Larry King in the world too, in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like he has shower and suspenders and colored dots. Next week glasses quotes from the bottom and even the cast and from the cast even though you just heard very next week they're scary hairy and here live always in full red pointy shoulders squirty eyes very Jewish in tennis you attack at the point of weakness it was from my grandmother Ken she's 81 honey her backhand's a joke I'm not gonna take advantage of that quiet please the actual work is going on here is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping to sue. I'm helping him to sue the human race. Hello, hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Tim Glenn, the size ten and a half, five and soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, cause we're really busy working. Be but it's our yogurt knife. Bye bye. Why is yogurt knife so difficult? You poor thing. You two must have been at this for hours. Yes, Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting, how many sugars? Just one. I'm, I try not to use the competition. So you're helping him. Bees have good qualities. It takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if they're three. Those and artificial flowers. Oh, those make me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Hi, Baba. Hug. Good night, Joe. Good night, Baba. Good night. All the way. Joey, can you shut the door all the way? Joey, can you shut the door all the way? Tommy? What? Shut the door all the way. There we go. Oh, those just make me, just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. The tad work done. Maybe this could better make up for for it in a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? I'm not sure. When I'm done with the humans, I won't be able to say, "Honey, I'm home," without pain and loyalty.
incredible city of Downend. Here in downtown Manhattan, where the world anxiously waiting, where the world anxiously waits because of, for the first time in history, and we will hear for ourselves if the Hungarian can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. Do you think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the big team, you boys work on this? All right, I will. Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, case number 4475, Supreme Court of New York. Barry B. Benson versus the Huntington Industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, my grandma was a simple woman, born on a farm. She believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in a topsy-turvy world, Mr. Benson imagined, just think of what it might mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking B. How do we know this isn't just some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? It could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, it could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here, just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room that think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey, not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your favorite fitness. So, Mr. Claus Vanderheim, Vanderheim on Honey Farms. Big company you have. I suppose so. You also own Honey Burton and Hunt Rock. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no. Because they don't free bees. You don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're all they're lo very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, Fozzie bear, build a bear, you mean like this? Bears kill bees. How do you like his head crashing through your living room? Biting your couch, spitting out your pillows. Spitting out your throat pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Stern, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard before? I had, I was with a band called the police. Are you coming? I'll only be a little bit longer. Dude, what do you need? No, I'm just saying how you're doing. How are I'm you just doing? talking to Vincent. That's all you're doing? Yeah. What is? I have to be in this trip because I'm trying to record. I was in a band, I was with a band called The Police, and you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here, we have yet another, another example of bee culture. Casually being stolen, casually stolen by a human, nothing but parents about stage name. Oh, please, have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiot. Mr. Lariletta, first. Bo belated congratulations on your Emmy win for the guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you are devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Yet yeah, it isn't. But is this what it's come for for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part in one line, sir. Watch it, Benson. I can blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why don't 
Why doesn't someone just step on this creep so we can all go home? Order in the court. They're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it, Mr. Iowetta. Please sit down. I think it's awfully nice that that bear patient like, like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right, now, right legally? I'm flourished. Right, well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Oh, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could, I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. I hear you're quite the tennis player. I'm not for the game myself. The ball's a little too grabby. That's usually where I sit, right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, right? He, he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a sufficient skill. You don't, you think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? We have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just thinking. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at you. I've had just about it with your little money game. What's that Italian boat? Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said, why his life is more valuable than mine? Funny, I can't seem to recall that. It seems like something stings in here. Stinks in here. How about the smell of flowers? How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much water bug. I'm not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I surf shop food? Poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We don't, we need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? There Are there other bees you've met in your life? No. But there are always, there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding this emotional, emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. George, if you don't fix your mic, Wait, shut up, and then I'm going to have to mute you. For your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by men. I'm sorry to hear about all that. It's, I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I've always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well, are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery's out of ideas. He would like to call Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Late, we've seen, we've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's all going to be over. <clears throat> Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them why they don't like bees. But why they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think we all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends, good friends. Yes, how good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an ill... You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. And don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's all he wants. Oh, I am hit. Lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I've been felled by a beast of destruction, by a winged beast of destruction. And you see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Singing is the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward and suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order. Order, please. In the case of honeybees versus the human race took the pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stung 
Layton's team Montgomery. Hey buddy, hey, is there too much? Is there much pain? Yeah, I I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. I've got it. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in the tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery on it. You want to sting someone? I can't explain it. I always like to sting someone. I can't explain it. It was all adrenaline. And then there was ex ecstasy. Ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew right into this. What were you thinking? Look at us. We're a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do if they win? I don't know. I hear they'll put us, they'll put the roaches in motels. It doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back in the court and stall. Stall any way you can. I'm assuming you've, you've done step correctly. You're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin? Yes, yes, Your Honor. What is the reference to your team? Well, Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly hap haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I've heard a, story, a funny story about that, Your Honor. Haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up this court's valuable time? Taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer would we allow this absurd shenanigans to go on? If they present if they presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run the legitimate businesses, I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flamin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? A bee smoker. Wait, this? This little harmless contraption? This harmless little contraption? It couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what is happening with bees. Never an inch smoking. None. Is this what nature intended for us? A man-made wooden slat for work camps? Living our, living our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the 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 bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what this means? With all, all the honey, we'll finally be able to belong to the bees. And now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of balance of nature, Vincent. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as, settlement, as a settlement? First, I'll demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. We want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand that... We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal to take him out. He'll have a few nauseous. He'll have nauseous for a few hours, and he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate being negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey, its bogus health products, and la di da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it, Mr. Buzzwell. We just passed out. We just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do? Cannonball. We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? They're out celebrating? They're home. They don't want, they don't know what to do, laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with the cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? 
it's the greatest thing in the world. It's excited to be, it's excited. I'm just so excited to be a part of making it. And this was my new jet. This was my new test. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changed people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What do you, do you want to show me? This. What's happened here? This is not to have. Oh, no. Alright, you're going to have to stop talking, okay? Are you going to bed? Yes. Okay. What oh, are no, you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm, I'm reading the B-movie script. Okay, so stop talking. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm going to guess these. Be specifically, I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole, that's our whole SAT test right there. Take it away. The produce that affects the entire kingdom and the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species suffers no more pollination. The cow was cursed out, but it couldn't. I know it was partly my fault. What about the suicide pact? How do we... How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice, right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I've got to get going. I had my mouth open. I had to open my mouth and talk. When I saw, when I saw why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of roses for the Pasadena. They moved to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance we'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I've made it turn out like this. I know I made it turn into roses. Roses can't touch horse. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? Roses. Smith said roses. Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. No, that's why it's the last parade. That's why this is the last parade. Hold on. Slow down. Could you slow down? Barry, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the plan. I wanted to help with the flower shop, but I made it worse. Actually, it's going to close down. I thought you were remodeling, but I have another idea. It's greater, it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right. They have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and the flower bud in this park. All I've got to do is they've got to get back there. But they've got bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Turning of roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Sorry, it was a gift. Thank you as a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right floor. What about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Where are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattress. Not this. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that, the whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with the traffic without arousing suspicion. Cause my sister's banging on the wall. At the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop security. You and your insect pack. You and your insect pack, you're f Dude, my voice is just too deep. It's vibrating the walls. You and your insect pack, your float? Yes. Have you been in... Have you... Has 
zip band in your possession the entire time. Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger. It's a part of me. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky enough, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll have a couple exper- it looks like we'll have experience a couple hours delay. Bury their cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I've got to get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the, ta- the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What'd you say? How? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would I miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B? Please report to the cockpit. And please hurry. What happened here? It's a dust buster, a toupee. A life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in the boat. They're both unconscious. Is there another? Is that another B joke? No, no one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower, flight 356. What is your status? I'm Vanessa Bloom. I'm a floor from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, there is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge enemy, and huge engines. We can't fly a plane? Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How large could it be? Wait, Barry, we're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some report. Late breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry. He's attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? We have to storm in an area. Two individuals on the control at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his Noah Chemical Padres. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. And the wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and their body mass makes no sense. Get this in the, get this on the air. Got it. Standing by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees and doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If we do it well, it makes a difference more than we realize to us and everyone. And that's why I want to get the bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fill. Black and yellow, hello. A fright down, hover, hover, forget hover. Listen so hard, beep, boop, beep, beep. Barry, what happened? I think we were in autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. Now we're not. It turns out that I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's go behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is to do what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're not in any. Tr- we're not in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You gotta snap out of it. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow black and yellow. Alright, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You have to think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong. Pulling me like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is on the tarmac? Get the lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Out the engines. Going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good. Good. Easy now. That's it. Land on the flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming for the flower. There's a fat guy in a flower shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo? 
Pikachu versus plane flying in an insect-like pattern. Get your get your nose in there. Don't be afraid to smell it full first. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no high five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done here yet. Listen, everyone, the runway has been covered with the last pollen and the last sponge available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who know how to make honey pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? We're going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains. We're bees, keychain. Then follow me, except keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here, you've earned this. Here, I'm a pollen jar, and it's perfect fit. All I've got to do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah, that's our berry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling it will be a really time. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I Can I help who's next? Would you like some honey with them? It is bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk cream cheese, you told me. And I don't see the nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me, Mosquito Associate? We'll help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer, too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All, now all I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got into this huge tulip butter, and now I can't get them in. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it up to me. Your life's over, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is saving my life. Let it go, Kenny. My mother's nightmare end. Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of this office. I'm in that office. You gotta, you gotta start thinking, B, my friend. Thinking, B, me. Hold it for a second. Just for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm making a major life decision during a production number. All right. Take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I've had a virtually no rehearsal for that. Special thanks to Sherry K. This has been the B movie script full performed by Anthony Foley. Thank you and good night.